Hello, hello! Welcome! Welcome to my channel and welcome to our new house. You guys have seen the sneak peek of our home, but you haven't seen the entire house, right? So I wanted to show you guys quickly in this video before, yes, before I give birth. Look at that. My big belly still. The baby's hanging in there still. Can you believe that? <laughs> Anyways, if you watch my last pregnancy vlog, yeah, I said it could be tonight. It could be tomorrow. I mean, that's true, but he's still there. So we shall see. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to show you guys our new baby, baby boy. Um, so let's get back. In this video, I will show you guys our home and tell you what we've been t uh, changing up and also what my plan is and also I have a lot of questions for you guys so stay there, don't go anywhere and get ready to comment down below to let me know what you think be honest, okay? and um, yeah, I have a lot in my mind but it's just hard to put everything together and also some of you recommended me to go with the designer to work with me but I really, I don't know, I just like to pick things and I like the process even though it could be kind of stressful especially when I'm about to give birth and things are not settled which I like it to be but anyways, all that being said, please help me out and I'll decide later on if it's too much, I may go with someone else but big big renovation has to happen is the kitchen which i will tell you guys soon so let's um start with the front that's the entryway which i'm thinking of changing as well as this door is not the style i like um the style right here I don't know, before I had lily flowers in our previous house Oh, and one thing to mention and so you were kind of confused last time when I showed you guys the sneak peek of this home you were like, it looks like it's similar to your the other house and I was like, yes because same builder yeah, it's the same builder so he does a lot of crown molding so that's why it's similar but quite different and this house is a lot bigger so there's a lot of rooms and the floor is totally different and the colors were different but we're changing to more white of course because I love it um yeah I just want to tell you guys that so it is totally different house and we love it the location is amazing it can go to anywhere within like minutes like not even I mean three minutes or five minutes Trader Joe is right like we can just go through and go to trader joe or starbucks i mean there's like whole foods like we can just go like five minutes driving and the school is amazing around here so far hint <laughs> that's the reason we changed okay it's more classic style right now but i want to change to more simple and different color light gray or navy blue if we go with I'll talk about it in a minute and uh, when you walk into this right on the I mean right on the right <laughs> on the right oh one thing I want to show you this please remove your shoes that is coming all the way from Hawaii my friend Mervic hello She's so lovely, sent me a bunch of goodies with snacks and everything for my kids. That was, you're so sweet, you know that. Anyways, when you come this, this is the formal dining room. Um, you can see the mud we put on the wall to make it smooth, to put the paneling. Oh, let me show you guys the before. <laughs> That's the gray classic. Is this um classic gray or gray, gray owl? Form. Oh, that's the gray owl. That's lighter gray shade. 
Yeah, this is um, Balboa. Balboa meat. That's gray owl. It's got green and blue undertone. It's more gray than that one for sure. Repose gray. Oh, repose. Mm -hmm. That's the repose gray. That's cool tone gray. It's got more gray to it. It's a gray classic or classic gray, so it's almost like white. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of warmth. Okay, so please let me know which color right here. That's the Gray Owl by Benjamin Moore. And that has blue and green undertone and it's warm and cool um, tone that you can match, which I'm happy about because the floor, as you can see, it's totally warm tones. And that next one, don't, I mean, I don't want to even mention it because I'm not a fan, so just skip that second one. The third is Repose Gray, so that's more of cool tone gray color. Um, you cannot really tell the huge difference, but definitely this one has more green undertone. So let me know what you think. And there is another color that's the classic gray, lightest shade, classic gray. So that, I'm like half and half, <laughs> half and half. And also there's another gray color, which I forgot to tell my um, worker is the French gray, French light gray by Benjamin Moore, I think. Yeah, I think. Um, that color is pretty also. So that he's gonna bring the sample maybe tomorrow. But anyways, if you guys know or you've been looking into the gray color paint, let me know which one you think I should go with. The question here is, I am going to paint the cabinet right there either same color as that or deep navy blue I know, surprise <laughs> and this is the previous color they had it's like a chili red color it's pretty peppery color but of course I'm not a big fan to have that color in the house yes, so that's gonna go away and that will be the same color as that gray color whichever we choose and the reason that i have that painted inside is because we're gonna do color paint here and here right here so we're gonna leave the paneling only white and have the paneling everywhere in this sitting area Looks good, <laughs> yeah. before I think you guys can kind of see it the color right here and now with the mud just kind of hiding it now <laughs> but like I said this mud is for the paneling you can go either with plywood which will cost a little more than having the mud to smooth out the wall for the paneling so you can choose either way if your contractor allows that happen so we went with the mud the other house we went with the wood so it costs more and 
not a big difference or you just cannot tell anyhow so that's what's happening here mud all over so you can see like looking dirty but it's not that's the color we had throughout the whole house except the green olive green color in this room and the master room and the bathroom master bathroom so now it's all gone i mean still have a little bit here but it's almost gone and this room is going to be painted to navy blue and if you have any suggestion please let me know which paint if you've done it please let me know i'd love to know it and what kind of blue color you went with we're thinking more of like moody color i'll say like serious <laughs> it's going to be deep navy blue um yep so we have to choose that color and when that blinds are opened it's really beautiful with the green outside anyways uh, and that blinds are gonna all go down and I'm gonna put up new blinds with uh, more of natural look and also I'm thinking of putting the curtains around it maybe not this room not sure <laughs> that's another thing to think about anyways the top will be white and this room will be navy blue on top of paneling everywhere so you guys will see when it's done but so far this is it <laughs> looks like factory and everything is covered in the middle they've done good job so the dust wouldn't get in there while they were doing this oh my goodness it was all white let's go to master room look at that how many mirrors do i have this mirror may go to Lydia's room and that mirror is gonna go back to our master room from Anthropology. Loving it. And that is from West Elm. You guys now have two of them. And now this room is the master room and you guys all know it was olive green as well. The wall and the top ceilings were all olive green and yeah our furniture is in the middle covered up with the plastic cover so this is gonna also have paneling of course i'm excited about it to do it in our master room i stay in this room the most and i'm gonna be nursing my baby in this room first at least six months he'll be with me here uh, before he move out and have his own nursery room we'll have him in joshua's current room and joshua will move into the bigger room next to it we have in upstairs that is like a whole different story which i may show you maybe in the future i think this video will be too long if i include that it has a full kitchen it's got dishwasher and refrigerator and microwave and stove and so the full kitchen and the laundry room and the bathroom and living room uh, it's got full bath we may expand that place to the attic it's got a lot of room upstairs so that's just something to consider a lot <laughs> because i am like planning a lot downstairs first anywho that's that so this room is just same thing like the office and the bathroom master bathroom we also uh, already painted to white dove um and it is a big 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 mess right now i don't even want to seriously show you guys as things that the workers couldn't have in the middle they put them in here so i have lamps here and the side table and uh baby stuff that i put up there to make it like a bit of nursery that's here anyways i am going to change this master bathroom as well but not quite soon because it will be a huge deal as it's got the tile that i want to change up it's like similar to that color and the bath also i want to change up and here 
this room. <laughs> Another mess right here, my husband's and mine. And it's walk-in closet. You guys know this. In our previous home, I had my office and I had these like three together. So this walk-in closet is pretty big, but it's a bit like weird angle. So I don't think I can really change that, but I want to make it more useful. Like up there, there's a lot of space. So that's why I could put all the boxes. This closet also I'm going to change up in the future because everything has to come out to change so that will be a huge deal for me with a newborn baby once the baby comes you guys have seen Joshua and Lydia's room I haven't really changed much since then the color this is like a, how to say lemony yellowy <laughs> somewhat strong color it's like everywhere throughout the house that is the color in this room as well this is the living room so they painted it I think twice and that's the color that was right here and there pretty much everywhere but you see that that's not gonna angle, match you cannot have 3 inch because if we move to 3 inch It is? Uh, yeah, that one is kind of... It's going to be a more like a tiny one back in. Welcome to our living room. It is a huge space. We have that furnitures all the way on the window area I paint that up white and the built-ins are gonna turn into that either gray owl or the other gray color I thought of going with navy blue again but I think it would be too striking against the white next to it it's like big space like both in that fireplace I want to change to either marble um, maybe it's got some character to it type of marble like different color not exactly white but I'm not too sure yet I haven't gone and look so that's another thing feature <laughs> let me know what you think yeah this layout and we have changed already this also was same as that color yellow right here and that trim all the way that was also yellow as that color then now have the paneling and also all white so it made it even more grand in this area this also let me show you guys how it was before so that's the color it's like lemony yellowy color beautiful with the green I love it I love this space so this is the kitchen it was yellow all the way up here and this this breakfast nook area but we painted it white dove and what I'm gonna change is pretty much everything I don't love this dark shade here and the backsplash nothing I really like so what I'm thinking of doing is to get rid of this um, secondary island I may say not quite sure it's just you know one and two and this island can become a lot bigger so it can stick out more thinking of doing the waterfall style and maybe quartz or marble not quite sure 
but thought of doing the white cabinet on top and the bottom it may be white all the way right here but island may be navy blue or not there yet <laughs> haven't figured it out but let me know what you guys think also uh, this is more like classic style but I want to go more of not farmhouse but a bit more casual style and have the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling and change up that hood also so appliances may change as well but sad thing they are really nice and not old and they work really well i mean that refrigerator has been beat up but it still works and also that it's like bread <laughs> section which i really don't like and not a fan of it so and it doesn't even stay up so it goes down when you open it uh, something to hide which is good when people come over but that whole section will change as well will go all the way up and I thought of putting that as navy blue just on that section and island and have all white either that or all white mm, yeah and have the open shelvings like some right here and right there and that will go all the way up and have the refrigerator maybe paneling or huge big giant refrigerator there and there's a pantry where you can put the sauce and everything but actually here is a walk-in pantry it's really big so i don't really need to have both so i thought of getting rid of that area and open that up and have different whole different thing which i'm not quite sure but i want to talk to someone about it and someone like you guys well, let me know what you think about that and yeah a lot would change here but that will be yeah not soon anytime soon and i want to change that fan to a beautiful chandeliers um not like you know crystals like crazy but something pretty gold and here also that fixture not my vibe so and it's really tiny for this big big area and by the way the set is not ours so it's gonna go once we get a new one but i haven't found one this breakfast nook area is like typical formal dining room size seriously it's really big so i need big table here but i would love oval shape marble please let me know you guys know i have one and now i'm using it as a desk in our master room that just size is perfect right there right now with my um desktop if you see something that you guys think i would love let me know and this I love and that is my kids favorite section of course anyways just wanted to show you guys and i love that automatic this is the hallway and now you guys can see they're painting um all white right now and this is the original color that they had this type of looking paneling will go all the way on the hallway here so this is the hallway we're gonna panel the halfway here i thought of doing the whole thing but not necessary so doing half away and put some frames here thought of putting the scones but not quite sure so that's the hallway that, and this is the powder room which we need to change uh also but i'll show you guys as this video is going to be so long and that is lydia's room you guys have seen it just a quick 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 showing you guys it's in a mess as my husband and i move into her room <laughs> in joshua's room right here let me show you guys this is joshua's room it's so messy as well and my stuffs yes things are there i'm thinking of putting joshua into this room as this one is bigger than the one that he is right now this room is smaller so we're gonna move him there and have this as a nursery room for our third baby right in here <laughs> and we have the laundry room which i'll show you maybe next time guys i just saw myself and my 
my face was melting down and my lips yeah so i just put on lip gloss and now i look a bit better right <laughs> yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up and please comment down below what you think of the questions i asked you guys throughout the video yeah please let me know. I want to get better ideas and I want to see as many things as possible before I make any decision, right? Because I don't want to change around too much. So that'll be it. And thank you so much for watching. And the baby, I hope to see him soon. And I know you guys want to see him too. So we shall see. Maybe next video. Who knows, right? Anyways, I'll let you guys go here. See you soon.